Apple orchards and cider mills in southeast Michigan are feeling the impact of a frost late April that took out early bloomed apple trees after a warm spring. At Blake's Farms, located in Armada, Michigan, 70% of the crop was lost. This was one of the worst frosts since the orchard's opening in 1946, though it was less than other orchards in the area because of wind machines that kept crop up to 5 degrees warmer on that 20 degree spring night. Most local orchards lost up to 90% of their crop. Blake's, as well as others like Yates Cider Mill, networked and purchased apples from farms in West Michigan and other states to supplement the surviving apples. Crop, as well as cider and other fall favorites, will still be available, though prices have increased. Due to the shortage, however, many orchards, including Blake's, are diversifying, adding more entertainment to the mix. While the shortage has had an impact on orchards, grocers, and local businesses, apple supplies, and costs, companies diversifying has made a difference. I'm Stephanie Sokol for the Oakland Post.